According to Uganda Bureau of Statistics, about 24.3% of the population is living in urban areas. Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development is now moving to ensure that legislative frameworks for fiscal planning are enforced. Quite many times, our people go and build where they want, they cultivate where they want, they put houses where they want, and they interfere with the environment the way they want. But this is not planned. Now the national planning policy has now clearly specified the areas where what can be done and even the agricultural, uh, agricultural crops which can be produced, the infrastructure which can be put in particular areas and so forth. Minister of State for Lands in charge of urban development, Opiga Kanya, highlights that Uganda is urbanizing at a faster rate of 5.2% per annum, necessitating proper planning for disaster risk reduction. It means we now go to the cities, to the urban areas, and ultimately to the, to the lower local governments, the districts, the sub-counties, and so on. The aim is now to say, what can you do? For example, in a particular urban area, what kind of building can you put? What kind of building should you not put? And, and so forth. So where should the water pass? Where should the sewage pass? The acting director of fiscal planning and urban development in the Ministry of Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Vincent Vienda Imira, has also confirmed that registration of fiscal planners will be mandatory. In addition to the Fiscal Planning Act, uh, this year we also got the Fiscal Planners Registration Act, which is a law which is going to, which is regulating the practice of fiscal planning in Uganda. So that law also requires regulations, and uh, this is why we are making these regulations to make sure that fiscal planners are now well regulated. So going forward in the future, you are going to see that fiscal planners we will not we will not expect in any fiscal planner who acts in a way that is not uh, acceptable will be dealt with according to the law fiscal planning is critical in facilitating the provision of infrastructure utilities and services adia akute ubc